Hi friends, today let us discuss credit assignment problem. Actually credit assignment problem is if any distributed system or distributed network is there then it is very it is a common practice to give some credits or blame credit or blame to each and every internal decisions so that it can be reflected to outcome of the entire overall outcome of the network so in this process as the internal decisions in many of the systems the internal decisions are dependent on so many actions on the internal decisions the outcomes of internal decisions so sometimes these actions out of those actions some actions are very prominently pro very prominent in getting the outcome of internal decisions so in these cases sometimes even the out it overtakes the outcome of the internal decisions also and only the actions are directly dependent directly give the response to overall outcome in these cases the credit assignment problem will be divided into two parts one is temporal credit assignment and second one is structural credit assignment problem now let us see all these assignment problems by a graphical picture so this is my overall outcome and my structure is like this this is one internal decision second internal decision third fourth fifth i have considered five internal decisions here and the o1 is the first outcome of the internal decision o2 is second outcome of internal decision o3 is third outcome of internal decision o4 is fourth and o5 is fifth outcome of internal decision and moreover these are the outcomes of internal decisions and the o1 is the outcome of internal decision one and as we have discussed the outcome of internal decisions depend upon so many actions and those actions are marked in green in color and these actions are numbered from a1 to a5 a1 a2 a3 a4 and a5 these are the actions of internal decision one so so these are all the actions of internal decisions 2 3 4 and so on and those are marked like that b1 to b5 c1 to c5 d1 to d5 and e1 to e5 so these are the actions of internal decisions now the credit assignment problem means we need to we need to give some credit or blame to the outcome of internal decisions only that means o1 to o5 we need to provide whether it is credit or blame if credit is there then it will be included in the final outcome if blame is there it is not included in the final outcome that means if out of 5 we need to select which outcome we need to take up for the overall outcome that's the thing and but as we discussed these are dependent on the actions so obviously in which action it is prominently dependent if we give credit even for actions also we need to give the credit and blame if we give the credit or blame for outcome of the internal decisions means o1 to o5 then that is called for example if if i have given credit for o2 and o4 and o5 i have given credits for three outcomes and two outcomes are i am ignoring so these three outcomes are Go given to overall outcome, and it is do these three only the part of the overall outcome, but those two are not at all involved. O one and O three are simply omitted. And similarly, in actions also, these are the actions they have given credits, and for other actions they we have given blame. That means it's not at all considered. So in this case, if we have given credit or blame for outcomes of the internal decisions, that means O2, O4, and O5. Then this is called temporal credit assignment problem. Temporal credit assignment problem. And if we have given the 
credit or blame for the actions of the internal decisions then that is called structural credit assignment problem so to get the overall outcome as we have written outcome over here to get the overall outcome we need to proceed with these two credit assignment problems first temporal credit assignment problem to get the selected outcomes of the internal decisions and structural credit assignment problem to get the selected actions of the each internal decisions now we it's very clear that only the actions in vo2 third action that means b3 and in vo4 second action that's d2 and in vo5 the fourth action that is e4 only three actions are prominent so these three actions will be conducted and the out, output of these three actions will be given to the overall outcome and all other things are nullified and all other things are provided blame that means they are zero and they won't consider at all so this is the credit assignment problem so finally the conclusion is sorry so finally the conclusion is very simple in credit assignment problem we need to give the credit or blame for the over output outcome of the internal decisions so in this course in giving the outcome of internal decisions the act so many actions are involved so we need to give credit and blame for the so many actions also so to provide the credit or blame for outcome of the internal decision is called temporal credit assignment problem and to give the credit or blame for the out actions of the internal decision is called structural credit assignment problem so to solve the distributed system we need to incorporate these two credit assignment problems to get the earlier and easier and faster response for the overall outcome of the system if you like this thank you for watching this video if you like this video please like it please share with your friends if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please do subscribe and please press the bell button so that you will get the notifications whenever i upload the videos thank you thank you so much